God bless you. Amen. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior. I'd like to uh, thank God for this privilege to be here to continue with the word of God. I believe uh, all things work together to them that love the Lord. We are still his children. Be it in lockdown during the pandemic moments we are still the children of God. So we Appreciate the Lord for the privilege uh, that He gave us to continue with His word. You know that in this world there is no more hope. The world is coming to an end. And we are in it. Somehow, we have to be somewhere else where we can escape this end that is coming upon our world. So, um, we would like to go uh, in the word of God that we may read from it. But we know that um, all our ways may fail. But God's word will never fail. Amen. Amen. So we we'll continue with the word of God. And um, we are going to uh, talk today. Um, it's just a continuation of a message. So we before. Um, Jesus Christ is the sender of our worship. And I'll give it a subtitle this uh, today. That, uh, Jesus Christ is the end of the law. So read our first scripture from the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 4. The Bible reads as follows. For Christ is the end of the law. For righteousness to everyone that believeth. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, yes, Lord. Lord, we humbly come before you My to thanksgiving in our hearts. Yes. Knowing that, oh God, without you, mm. we are nothing. And we are going to perish. Mm. And Lord, here we are this afternoon mm. as your children of the mighty God, knowing that mm. what we read here, Lord, your children out there yeah. have to benefit out of it. Yes, Lord. So we are praying, Heavenly Father, for the scripture that we have just read, that you may give us the anointing and the leadership mm. of the Holy Spirit, that each and every child of God yes. might hear your word, O oh Father, and be yeah. blessed yeah. out of it, O oh yeah. God. We read here in the scripture and we hear this apostle telling us that Christ, Jesus Christ, is the end of the law mm. for righteousness yes. to him that he believes, to everyone that can only Hallelujah. believe in him. Amen. So this afternoon, Lord, we believe in you, O oh Father, and we thank you for the great work that mm. you've done at Calvary Amen. to take our position, Lord, made one, the people that should have perished. Oh God, you have taken our position and today yes. we know that we are going to live because you live forever. Mm, we mm. commit this service, Father, into your holy hands. In mighty Jesus, Jesus' mighty name, we pray, trusting and believing. Amen and amen. 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 So we continue with the word. Amen. 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 So as we read here now in the book of Romans chapter 10, we find that Apostle Paul said, Jesus Christ is the end of the law. And we read in other portions of the scripture, and we hear that, the Old Testament, Testament or the law of Moses was nothing but a shadow of good things that was to come. Then we realize that uh, the, 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 the worshippers in most cases they follow the Old Testament or the old laws of which those old laws according to the scriptures they ended when Jesus died. 
Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet said, Prophet Orifa, Aaronic priesthood ceased. When Jesus died, which means the old systems are unfunctional during this time that we are living in. But it has been of, a, of something that was difficult for the believers to accept uh, that the law has ended. Though uh, some of of the believers have evidently walked with Jesus and they saw him being crucified but they could not um, believe or accept that the law actually have ended. One of them was Peter who was one of the apostles who actually walked with Jesus who actually witnessed the crucifixion of Jesus when Paul came upon the scene, Hallelujah. Amen. When he met with Jesus Christ, on his way to Damascus, and after that, he went to Arabia, where God Himself began to teach him his word and give him a revelation of Jesus Christ that he may come and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because there was no hope for the genders to enter in the kingdom or for them to be accepted in the gospel beside, uh, outside the death of Jesus Christ. Now Jesus appeared unto Paul and he taught him the gospel. Paul himself said, I was taught by Jesus himself the gospel that I preached. So when we read in the book of Galatians, we see uh, Paul giving the history of what happened from the time that he repented. But he only went to Jerusalem 14 years later. To them that were apostles before him. When we get there, when we read in the book of Galatians chapter 2, we find that they only tell, told him that he have to remember the poor in all what he was doing, laboring in the gospel. Before four was already doing that. He said, I was already forward to do that. Hallelujah. Amen. So, uh, as we go on, we find that Paul realized that Peter, when he was with the genders, he could eat with them. But when the Jews come, Peter didn't want to mingle anymore with the genders. Then Paul Paulus, had to confront him. Hallelujah. Amen. And withstood him. And tell him Amocha. what was right about the gospel. So so the, said, the gospel of the genders was committed unto me. And to Peter. He was uh, given uh, uh, to preach to the Jews. So we find that there was a misunderstanding between the, 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 the law and grace. Amen. Amen. And Paul was now given this privilege to preach unto us the genders. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Which is the only hope for the Gentiles to enter into the kingdom of heaven. That is why we talk about Christ Jesus. Being the sender of our worship. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus Christ Jesus Christ being the end of the law he gives us an opportunity to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because when he, he, when he came, Hallelujah, he came Amen. under the old laws. And because he was under the law, 
God, Oba, like a fasa, you know me, lawyer. He could not permit his disciples to go and preach unto the Gentiles. Oba, sa koru dumela, barutu ba or ba yabo orala bantle. Because he was under that old law. God, oh yeah, na le, Oba, like a fasa mola ola. We didn't have any part in it. Oba, tu mo sere na ra sna karolo fa. We were not allowed to come into into the tabernacle. Na ra sa dumela kotsa na mata barne kele. We were the outcast. We were le bantle. We were not allowed to do anything of the service. Na ra sa dumela lo kudra sepe kapasefe sa tirelo. Jesus was walking upon this earth before he died. Hey, Jesus, we were not allowed to worship God with the Jews. There was a separation between us and the Jews. So our life were only come into effect. At low, when it comes to the gospel, hey, when Jesus Jesus died, hey, Jesus no, because after his death, when he resurrected, we saw him now talk to the disciples, saying, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." This time. He was now uh, he was he was no longer separating the Jews and the Gentiles. Because at first we saw him when he sent his disciples. He was telling them that they have to, they don't have to go to any way of the gender. They don't have to go to any village that belongs to the Gentiles. But they only have to go to the, to the, to the villages of Israel. Because he came the lost sheep of Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. That only must give us an understanding that we didn't have any room to worship God before the death of Jesus Christ. But after his resurrection, because we come to the New Testament, Hallelujah. Amen. a testament is established after the testator is dead. Uh, testament e e e tlabotse he mongwe yona a shetsa robetsa wa go fetsa so the testator uh, died he mongwe wa taba ye a shetsa robetsa we are the hallelujah amen and we are counted to be the children of Israel of Abraham, of Abraham who has given the promise the promise of inheritance by by faith because he believed in God there we become the children of of Abraham when we believe in Christ we have that promise of the inheritance of the kingdom of God but outside that we didn't have anything we were nothing so the law um, didn't bring any perfection. Didn't make anything perfect. But the law was there just to condemn. So what I want us to look at today is the power that is in the blood of Jesus Christ. Was in the old laws. If any man has sinned, would bring a lamb or a bull and the, 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 the priest or the Levite have to examine that lamb to see if it was fit for it to be sacrificed. Hallelujah. Amen. And any man would feel good if he have his lamb that is to be offered in his stead. And once he have that lamb with him, he for sure that this one is going to die in my on my behalf. So that lamb was going to be examined. And for 14 days. Hallelujah. Amen. To find out whether it's fit or not. After they find that it is fit. Then they will they will offer it. They will sacrifice. Then the men will go out of there. And say with what I have done, it is done now. Or I can go home peaceful. But he still remembers what he has done. Hallelujah. Amen. So the law could not stop the 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 the, the, the 
the grip of sin in a man. Hallelujah. Amen. The man will still go on with that conscience of sin. Though he offered lamb, though the sacrifice is given, but he will remain uh, unperfect. Hallelujah. Amen. But what did the blood of Jesus came for? So, my dear, just was to make a man perfect. Because, because God requires perfection. So, the law of Moses could not make anything perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. I like us to read um the book of in the book of Hebrews chapter ten verse one. Amen. 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 Chapter 10. The Bible says, For the law having a shadow of good things to come, mm. and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices which they offered year mm. by year continually make the comers they unto perfect. Biale molao. Sa wana ke moriti fela wa tshe ditlogotla. Ga se wana se bele sa dilo tsheo. Ka ngwaga o mongwe le o mongwe ba fela ba ba tamela ka didimo tsa tsona tsheo me ba ba ditlishao ga ba ka one go tlhatswa moka. Amen. Amen. So we find out that the law was just a shadow. And not the very image of those things that were to come. So it could not make uh, the commands uh, uh, perfect. With their sacrifice that they bring. They, they, they could not become perfect. Let sins from the Garden of Eden. When sin, uh, sin came in. And the man was dirty. He was under sin. Yet God requires perfection. So God is uh, uh, starting to, to make a way. To redeem the man. That was lost. To make him. Come again into his presence. So the only way it was uh, the, the, bra, the, the blood was supposed to be shed. That is why when the Old Testament was established, the Old Testament was established. Testament in Swa et Homa. Hallelujah. Amen. It was established by the blood of the Lamb. It will mean we can fast a man. Hallelujah. Amen. But now, Joali, the blood of those lambs will not make the camas perfect. God has to make another way to redeem the man that could not come to him. Because he need a man to be perfect. And without the shedding of the blood, a man cannot be perfect. He provide his own son. His only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him will have access to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So the blood of Jesus uh, can do Agadira. what the blood of the lambs cannot do, could not do. Agadira. Amen. Amen. The blood of Jesus Maria can make a man perfect. Agadira. There is no a church upon the earth Agadira. that Agadira. can Agadira. make a man perfect. Agadira. There is no a bishop on earth Agadira. that can can make a man perfect. Yeah, there is no a school on earth that can make a man perfect. But the blood of Jesus Christ Eucha, can Jesus. make a man perfect. That is why Amen. the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 1, and every worshiper must be under the blood of Jesus. Because God only accept a man when he is covered by the blood of Jesus. That is why when Jesus teach, uh, taught his disciples, he said, Shall ask anything to the Father in my name, and it shall be given unto you. Amen. 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 So if you ask anything outside the name of Jesus, don't be surprised if you don't get it. Because the Father recognizes the name of Jesus Christ. That is why He is the sender of our worship. He said. 
uh, go and preach the gospel yeah, to every preacher to every creature hallelujah Amen. and whosoever believeth and is baptized shall be saved and these signs shall follow them that believe hallelujah Amen. there are, are certain things that are promised that have to follow us when we believe in Jesus Christ the first thing is that when you believe in Jesus Christ, so, you are Christ. going to be saved. The second thing is, so, when you believe in Jesus Christ, so, wherever Christ. you go preaching the gospel, so, there are certain so, signs so, that have to follow you. So, These so, signs so, just so, follow. You don't have to do anything outside believing in Christ. When you believe in Christ, these signs just follow. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe let us just read in that uh, in the book of Mark. From there. Amen. Amen. Say it if you believe in me. Yeah, I you these signs shall follow. Them that believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, God is good. Amen. Amen. Mark chapter 16. Amen. Maraka uh, wale sumetsela. Let us read from this. Um, this is 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Um, they shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hate them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So all these promises, they, they only come to the believer. The person that believes in Jesus, they have got 100% guarantee that these things have to follow. Wherever they go, they must be healing. Wherever they go, when the devil challenges them, they have power to cast out devils wherever they are. Because they believe in Christ, these things are given for free. Hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is not just a lamb like those lambs that were offered uh, in the old uh, laws. If you offer that lamb, it was not like when you go out you can cast out devils no matter how you believe in your lamb but if you try to do something else it was not going to, to work out but once you believe in this lamb of God the Lord Jesus Christ the sender of our worship there is many things that follows it. Hallelujah. Amen. You can cast out devils. You can pray for the sick and they recover. You speak with new tongues. All of these things, they follow them that believe. Hallelujah. Amen. But to prove that today, many people think that they believe in Christ. But they don't. Because the works that Christ does yeah, Christ is not him. following them because he said he that believeth in me the works that I do you shall do also so when you believe in Christ the works that he did you have to do also because he said I will be in you you will not be alone in the world but I will be in you hallelujah and whatsoever 
whatever challenge that you come across, I will be there. Even if they bring you before judgment, don't worry about what you are going to say. For the for your father, which is in heaven, will tell you, will give you words. Will tell you what to say at that time. So to the believers today, it is uh, evident that we don't have to worry. Because it is evident that we don't have to worry about the pandemic that is upon the world. Because the one that has is promised to be with us, he is true. And his word is true. We can trust in his word. Because his word can keep us. His word can heal us. His word can protect us. His word can fight for our battles. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So Jesus Christ is the sender of our worshiping. Without him, we cannot worship God. Without him, we are nothing. Without Jesus, um, our lives are meaningless. Without Jesus, we are not allowed to worship God. Amen. Because the only uh, uh, way that we can ever come uh, to God is through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes, because he is the priest. Amen. Amen. He is the priest. Amen. Amen. He has become the priest. He has become the mediator between men and God. That when we want to go to God, we go through Him. There is no any other place that we have to go when we need to talk to God than the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no any other way that we can try to approach God outside the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only way that is given for us to worship God. Hallelujah. Amen. His blood means a lot unto us. Hallelujah. Amen. His blood is the only place that we can hide. Hallelujah. Amen. We cannot do without the blood of Jesus Christ. So, uh, I want to read something here. The, what the prophet said. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, concerning uh, the, the, the priesthood. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, um, he is saying, Jesus Christ is the end of the law. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, let me let me start here in the um, in Hebrews chapter one. The prophet said. Uh, the now, the Aaronic priesthood ceased when Jesus died. Now, separating law from grace, we still have a room coming. And Paul was using was using it. Paul also over See the Mama, urim tamim. Why wanna urim tamim? Today is God's immortal, eternal, everlasting word. Le wano le ekele nchula modimu le le safele echo. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So um. The Aaronic priesthood, the whole setup of the Levitical priesthood, ceased when Jesus died. Which means going, uh, going to God today, trying to use that way of Aaron, the Aaronic system, it is going against God. Because God is no longer looking at that. God doesn't recognize that anymore. In the first church age, they missed the mark when they start to go back to ironic system trying to dig into that uh, Levitical priesthood trying to take men to lead, uh, to lead the people trying to make the, uh, the uh, mediatorship 
than of Christ. And by doing so, the prophet said, they become the Antichrist. By trying to apply the ironic system. And it is true even in our day when we try to skip the blood of Jesus and take something from the Aaronic system the Levitical priesthood and try to apply it today automatically we become the Antichrist and we are in the last days whereby we are warned by, 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 by the Spirit of God that these two spirits will be so close. It will be like um, uh, the, you, you, it will be difficult to discern between the right spirit and the wrong spirit. Because the spirit of the devil will be just as close to that spirit of God. We are not talking about the people that are out there who are playing church the denomination. We don't know the difference between the law and grace. We are talking about the people who have already accepted even this message. But yet to drift back to the Levitical priesthood. Trying to drift back to that Aaronic priesthood. Which ceased when Jesus died. It's Calvary. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So we want to understand where we are standing today. As the people that believe in the word of God. That want to take God at his word. That don't want to be lost. We don't want to be lost. We want to be right. We want to be found on the right side. That is last trump when When that last sound, uh, sound uh, last, last trump sounded. We want to be found on the right side. We don't want to be found offside. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen, Lord. Let me read something again here. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, what the prophet said. I love to read from the prophet. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. In the Ephesian church age. More He says here. But see what what was happening back there. The false vine was getting a hold and it was teaching that rulership by, by men was right. It taught that the church had to be governed. It taught a control over the people. But instead of doing it God's way, they simply took authority and vested all the spiritual power in their own hands. And came out with a holy priesthood standing between God and the people. They went right back to the old Aaron system they become they became antichrist for they disposed of his mediatorship uh, and, and imposed their own God hated that. The Ephesians hated that, and any true believer would hate it too. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the prophet here is telling us that those people in the in them old days in the Ephesians. They went back to the ironic system. Which create a government by, uh, that will stand between God and the people. Hallelujah. Amen. And God don't want that. God only want Jesus Christ to be between us and Him. Nothing else will ever stand between people and God. It has to be Jesus Christ and then God. 
Any man that want to worship God, man, so man, come man. through Jesus Christ. Nothing else outside that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we need to worship God through the Lord Jesus Christ. Anything that wants to stand between a man and the Christ, which uh, and is not Christ. Is Christ. That is Antichrist. Hallelujah. Amen. Anything that is forcing people to go through it. Hallelujah. Amen. And is that that way is not the way of Christ. It is Antichrist. It is against God. Hallelujah. Amen. So the prophet said, going back to Aaronic system, the Levitical order. order Hallelujah. Amen. It's Antichrist. You become Antichrist. And God hates that. Hallelujah. Amen. And we, the true believers, we have to hate that. Hallelujah. Amen. Because that system seized at Calvary. If it it was done away with when Jesus died at Calvary. So there is no any other way that a man can try to worship God by the works of the law. We are in a different time. We cannot worship God in the shadow anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. So let me read what Paul said to the Galatians. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to the book of Galatians chapter 3. Hallelujah. Amen. The Galatians. Amen. Amen. I believe Paul is the one who, who started to preach to the Galatians. And when he comes, yeah, a, he found them believing somehow. Hallelujah. They started to, to try to justify themselves by the works of the law. Hallelujah. Of which the law made nothing perfect. So he, when he starts in, on this chapter here, he says, Oh foolish Galatians. Who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth crucified among you this only would island of you Received ye the spirit by the works um, of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish? Having, having begun in the spirit, are you now made perfect by the flesh? Have you suffered so many things in vain? If it be in vain, I I be I rule. He therefore uh, that ministers to you the spirit, and uh, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Even as Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. Knowing therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the scripture forcing that God would justify the heathen through uh, faith preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be so then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. 
Until go shoko fatsa ba ele go ba tumela go tele Abraham ya dumetse For as men as are of the works of the law are under under the curse. Go bane ba ele go ba mediro ya molao ba rohile ke wa go thwe. Hallelujah. Amen. So we find out that the law or molao is not of faith. Asi wa tumela. And without faith, a man cannot please God. God is only pleased by a man who has faith. And we read in the Bible. The Bible says come, faith comes by hearing. And hearing of the word of God. When Abraham heard the word of God. He believed that word that spoke to him. And it was counted for him righteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. And today. Uh, uh, the people. But that want to be justified by the law, they want to work without faith. And you cannot please God. That's why here Paul said, For as men as are of the works of the law, under a curse. For it is written that cursed is everyone that continueth not in all the law. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have to be in uh, in the faith. And that is the purpose. Why the prophet has come. To take us back to the Pentecost of fathers. To have that same faith. In Christ Jesus. Trusting and believing in Jesus. In all what we do. In our worship. To worship God through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is come. And uh, the law ended. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said the law and the prophets were until John. Since from that time, the kingdom of heaven is a priest. And the violent shall take it by force. So it is that time that we are in. Whereby we have to enter into Christ. Hallelujah. For Amen. Amen. For us to be saved. We have to be in Jesus. And outside Jesus. We are not going to be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to. To, 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 to enter into Christ. And the Bible said, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. So it is very necessary to a believer that when a man believes must be baptized because we enter into Christ through baptism. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When he was crucified uh, uh, on the cross of Calvary, yeah. we were crucified with him. Hallelujah. When he was buried, yeah. we were buried with him. So all that is represented in baptism. That is why he said, he that believe it. Are and is baptized shall be saved. Amen. Amen. So it is necessary for every believer to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Because outside that there is no forgiveness of sins. There is no remission of sins. You have to come into Christ for your sins to be forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. But what happens today many people want to go to God using the old laws that maybe if I do this God will do this to me hallelujah Amen. God has already done everything that he wanted to that he can do to his children when he provided Jesus Christ as a sacrifice all the blessings that we need we put in him there is nothing that we can 
do today try to convince him to bless us maybe if I do this God will bless me God has already uh, provided the blessings that we need through Christ Jesus hallelujah Amen. many people today but out in the world they are being used they are being abused trying to buy blessings from God hallelujah Amen. they are told to buy some oils and God will do something they are told to seed and their man will multiply all what God wanted to give his children he put in Christ Jesus there's nothing that God didn't put in Christ that his children may need today all what we need is in Christ Jesus we don't have to do anything to please God than to believe in Christ Jesus the only favor that you can do to yourself Favor is to believe life. in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. And then you receive all the blessings of, of God, God. For they are in Him. Hallelujah. In Amen. Christ there is forgiveness of sins. In Christ there is healing. In Christ there is a future of eternal life. That hope of eternal life is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why Jesus is everywhere in the Bible. He was in the prophets. He was in the Psalms. Or in every part of the Bible you see Jesus Christ. He is the center theme of the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why after his resurrection, when he, he met those who were, when, when he joined those who were going to Emmaus, he asked Emmaus and he started to ask them, Why are you talking like this? Why are you so sad? Ah, are you new? In when do you know these things that are going on. How do you know that Jesus Christ was crucified? And he was the hope of Israel to redeem Israel. They were thinking that he came only to redeem people in the flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. But when he talks to them, he said, you don't believe. It's in your hearts. Leave. Hallelujah. Amen. Then he started to expound this, uh, in the scriptures that from the prophets from Moses. Hallelujah. Coming through the Psalms. Giving them the scriptures that talks about him. Hallelujah. Amen. Proving that he was all over. Allah all over along he was Allah. in the prophets. He was in, in the Psalms. He was in all those songs. Psalms 22. He was everywhere. In in when, Jesus, when, Moses, when, Moses, when David was speaking. At most times. It was the spirit of Christ speaking to uh, through him. And he showed that to Clopas and his friend. Hallelujah. Amen. And when they sit at the table and they break the bread, their hearts, their eyes were open. And they knew him. Let us talk about Jesus. Let us, let us talk about Jesus. Wherever we are, let us talk about Jesus. Because when we talk about him, we invite him in our meetings. And when he comes, he will show us himself through the scriptures. Hallelujah. He will show us himself through the scriptures. And if he can break the bread among us, our eyes will be opened. Hallelujah. Amen. And we'll be glad to know him. That this is the Jesus that we have been believing in. But many times, 
Jesus doesn't come in our homes. Because we don't talk about him. Jesus don't come in our fellowship. Because we don't fellowship up. Or we don't talk about him. But if we can talk about him more and more. We will see him more often. In our fellowship we will see Jesus. In our homes we will see Jesus. Because he only come to those that talks about him. And those that seek him. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be his holy name. Amen, Lord. I think we are coming to an end. Let us just find a place where we read. Um, and then maybe we can just uh, close here. Amen. Amen. So Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the end of the law for righteousness. For them that believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if a man believes in Christ Jesus, all unrighteousness, uh, unrighteousness is separated from them. Is separated from them, the man. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why things like adultery, fornication, Paul said, these things must not even named among you. Because once you are in Christ, you are righteous. Then a righteous man cannot even think about that. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be his holy name. Amen, Lord. Amen. So let us find a place where we read. Maybe from the prophet. And then we close. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be his holy name. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, let me just read here in the book. Jehovah Jireh. Now the old Aaronic priesthood is done away with. But we still uh, we still have got Urim uh, Tamim. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Reveals him in his word. Amen. 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 So the prophet is continuing telling us that the Aaronic priesthood is done away with. But today we still have a Urim Tamim. It's the revelation of Jesus Christ. Reveals him in his word. Hallelujah. Anything and anything that's contrary to that, uh, to that word is not God. Hallelujah. Contrary to it. But God speaks for himself. He identifies himself, himself with his word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So today, we can only identify God by his word. Anything outside the word of God, which is the word of our day, to believe in Christ Jesus. As he said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so Hallelujah. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So, eternal life is only in Christ Jesus. And eternal life is for them that believe in Jesus Christ. Outside Jesus Christ, there is no eternal life. Outside Jesus Christ, there is no forgiveness of sins. Outside Jesus Christ, Trying to worship God under a ironic system today is is unacceptable before God. Hallelujah. Amen. So all those people who are trying to please God but by following the the law, law, they are fighting. Because today we are in grace. Hallelujah. Amen. And once you try to, to, to go to go through the law, you are becoming an antichrist. Hallelujah. Amen. For Christ is the end of the law. God bless you. Amen. Amen.
Let's pray. Koshi mudimu la matla otle wana mutlodi wala wadimu ala fase li bitole li matla la kreste jeso re ala waga. Mudimu wa luka le nchula wa koshi aka akele le sabole che murena re ala waga koshi aka akele sa chwele che yola mudimu aka wana waga mga di pelo koshi aka di kuna uja ma filo ajwa no murena. Ake kreste jeso ewe ye na mudimu aka waga re yuwa chume lo le waga arubia wara pedi wara na. Tuna faja pilo ngwe le ngwe papa isa kole le nchule mudimu aka koshi akele tise chume lo ya malewa. Ya wako na wafenya mwona kwa yu mudimu waka Tukono fa chalo nga nishu osa mshumish cheng Tukono fa chalo nga mkapapa Rejia sivisi ribu shichawena Kakraste jeso, amen Amen